number of cyber attacks targeting school districts and local governments is on the rise. There have been two here in central New York in less than a week's time, but these hacks are also happening nationwide. News Channel Live's Rob Hatford sitting down with a cybersecurity expert to get his take on the trend. Rob? Yeah, Rod and Christy, we've been reporting on these local cyber attacks for the past week. The Syracuse City School District and the Onondaga County Library Systems are both working to resolve those issues or have resolved those issues. But the cybersecurity expert I spoke to says while public institutions are a target, the true number of hacks happening every day often goes unreported. It's a huge problem. Steve Stasikona's managing partner at Secure Network in Syracuse is talking about cyber attacks. They typically start as a result of phishing a user. So when you receive an email that has a nefarious attachment or it has a link that's embedded. And if you click on either, you're opening whatever computer system you're on to hackers. Right now there's about 140 to 150 different ransomware kits that are out there. That's over 100 ways to access your computer. The cases in central New York happen to be the same type called RIOC. All the hackers are after is money. Hundreds of attacks occur every day across the country. And you hear about a fraction of, of the attacks that occur. While paying a ransom can be seen as weakness and could mean you fall victim again, the other option, which the city of Baltimore School District took last year, cost $13 million, an upgrade to their entire computer system. Whether it be a school district, a government agency, or so on, they're looking to get into them because they know that they have a larger bucket of wealth to, to tap into to pay a larger ransom. They're not going to get that from a consumer. So there has been a shift. And that shift now appears to be affecting central New York. Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. We've also learned an automated phone call did go out to parents in the city school district apologizing for the interruption caused by the cyber attack. The message adds summer school will be returning to normal. Now the school district saying tonight uh, that most of its key systems are operational now, including their website, the student management system, and the business operating system. Work continues to bring other systems back online. A forensic audit has not given any indication that data was actually taken from district systems.